Hello my beautiful viewers, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing well. I am Saida Fatma Rizvi, your favorite physicist and YouTuber. And uh, today is the happy new year. I wish you all a very new happy year and may this uh, 2021 bring a lot of happiness and joys in our life, bring a lot of blessings for us. So I wish you all the best and all the luck in this year. May this year bring health, wealth, success for all of us. Okay, so have a great happy new year and enjoy this day. So today I am bringing a new topic which is about the couple. Okay. Have you heard about the term couple in the real life also? Yes, you people have heard about that. The men, the men and women form the couple. Like the brother and sisters, they are like a couple together. Like a husband and wife, they are like a couple together. So similarly, in the field of physics, we also discuss about the term couple as you can see in this uh, diagram what you can see that the two unlike forces that are of the same magnitude but they are acting in the opposite direction on the body and they form a couple these two unlike parallel forces form the couple and these forces are separated by the distance d they act on the body at the same time, but they act on the body in the opposite direction. So these two forces form a couple. So let's discuss about the couple in detail in this video. First of all, we will discuss about the definition of the couple. A couple is formed by the two unlike parallel forces of the same magnitude, but or not along the same line okay the couple is formed by the two unlike parallel forces as we have seen in the previous diagram as you can see that the one force is acting in the upward direction and one force is, is acting in the downward direction these two forces are of the same magnitude but they are not along the same line or in the same direction okay but these two forces are of the same magnitude we have learned in case of torque we have learned in case of torque that the only a single force is applied on the body so when the single force is applied on the body like a door or in case of the spanner uh, the rotational effect is produced but in case of couple the two unlike parallel forces uh, is the most compulsory condition in order to produce a couple Now, what are unlike parallel forces? Let's discuss about the unlike parallel forces. The forces whose line of action are parallel to each other and all of them do not act in the same direction. So, you people see in this diagram that the lines of forces are uh, unlike parallel forces. These are the unlike parallel forces and they are of the same magnitude and parallel to each other but they are not acting in the same direction in the first um, line of action in the first uh, force you can see that the arrow head is pointing in the upward direction in the second you can see the arrow head is pointing in the downward direction again in the third the arrow head is pointing in the upward and in the last the uh, in the last uh, force you can see the arrow head is pointing in the downward direction so the forces who, whose line of action are parallel to each other. Line of action mean uh, these forces act on the body at the same time. But all of them do not act in the same direction. But they, these forces act on the body in the different direction. Okay. So these forces are known as the unlike parallel forces. Example of the couple. Okay, let's discuss about the example of the couple. What are the daily life examples of the couple? Role of the couple in the steering wheel. When a driver turns a vehicle. Now the steering wheel plays a very important role in the turning of the vehicle. How? Let's discuss about that. When a driver turns a vehicle, he applies the forces that produces the torque. Okay. 
when um, drivers take a turn of the vehicle he apply the force on the vehicle which produces the torque this torque turns the steering wheel okay and this torque help in the turning of the steering wheel these forces act on the opposite side of the steering wheel that are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction and these forces form the couple now torque is the product of the uh, force and moment on so when the torque act on the steering wheel the forces uh, act the unlike parallel forces act on the opposite side of the steering wheel that are of equal in magnitude but opposite in direction for example if the 9 newton forces the 9 newton forces act on the steering wheel uh, f1 is uh, 9 newton then f2 is also 9 newton so these uh, two unlike forces act on the steering wheel that are equal in magnitude magnitude is 9 newton but opposite in direction obviously these are the unlike parallel forces that act in the opposite direction of the steering wheel so these two forces form the couple okay it is easy to turn a steering wheel by applying the couple so as a result when the couple is produced it is easy for the steering wheel uh, to take a turn by applying the couple now let's discuss about the torque of the couple a torque of a couple is given by the product of one of the two forces that are perpendicular to each other so again um, by the torque the two forces are produced uh, okay and the two forces obviously are perpendicular to each other the torque of the couple is produced by the product of one of the two forces and at the perpendicular distance between them so uh, the distance between the uh, torque of the couple between the two forces are perpendicular to each other Now let's discuss about the other example of the couple. Uh, the other example of the couple is the double arm spanner. Double arm spanner, as you have seen in case of the spanner, spanner is used to open up and tighten the nut. And if the spanner has the longest movement arm, then it is easier for a person to do the work easily, to open up the nut easily, because uh, the longer um. Uh, the longer spanner has the greater movement arm so here we have uh, in order to increase the efficiency of the worm we have taken the double arm spanner okay a double arm spanner increases the efficiency of the work obviously but we should take the longer uh, double arm spanner having uh, the same movement arm and uh, the uh, double arm spanner should have the same movement arm for example if the spanners of are of five meter uh, if the one spanner is of five meter then the other spanner should also be of five meter so both are of the same magnitude so let's discuss about the double arm spanner a double arm spanner is used to open a nut equal forces each of magnitude f are applied on the end a and b of the spanner in the opposite direction so uh, one end of the spanner we uh, call that as a and the other end of the spanner we should call them as name b so equal forces each of magnitude f are applied on the end a and b of the spanner in the opposite direction just as the same moment arm the forces are of the same magnitude for example if we apply the forces of uh, if we apply the force of uh, 5 newton uh, on both sides of the spanner uh, so uh, f1 is also which uh, f1 is also of 5 newton and f2 is also of 5 newton so the forces are of equal magnitude but they act in the opposite direction because these are the unlike parallel forces so they act on the opposite direction of the spanner these forces form a couple that turns the spanner about the point uh, point o so 
एस डीज एंटी एस डीज अनलाइक पैरल फोर्सेज एक्ट ऑन द स्पेनर दे फॉर्म द कपल एंड दे दे हेल्प एज अ रिजल्ट इन द टर्निंग ऑफ द स्पेनर फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ओ पॉइंट ओ इज द सेंटर पॉइंट विच हेल्प द स्पेनर टू मूव थ्रू द सेंटर पॉइंट ओके सेंटर पॉइंट ओ द टॉक प्रोड्यूस बाय द टू फोर्सेज ऑफ द कपल हैज द सेम डायरेक्शन नाउ एज अ रिजल्ट द टॉर्क विच इज प्रोड्यूस बाय द कपल ऑफ द फोर्सेज हैव द सेम डायरेक्शन now here you can notice that the forces do not have the same direction but the torque has the same direction okay the torque produced by the two unlike parallel forces of the same magnitude has the same direction okay so let's discuss about the derivation of the couple produced by the spanner thus the total torque produced by the couple will be tor total torque of the couple is f multiplied by oa plus f multiplied by ob now the these are the unlike parallel forces okay of the same magnitude and oa and ob are the moment arm so we should uh, take f as common because they are of the same magnitude oa multiplied by ob so we, when they are merged together they form the torque of the couple became f multiplied by ab the last equation gives the torque produced by the couple of the force okay so um this last equation that is f multiplied by ab give the uh, torque produced by the couple of the forces separated by the distance ab obviously f uh, when the force act on the uh, when these two forces act on the spanner they produces the torque and which help in the turning of the spanner okay so here we uh, see in the diagram we should take one end of the spanner as a and one end of the spanner as b and o we should take the um, center point as the middle point so when the the two forces when the two unlike parallel forces act on the spanner these are of the same magnitude but they act in the opposite direction for example i have taken uh, the uh, example of 5 newton force f1 is equal to 5 newton f2 is equal to 5 newton when the forces these two forces act on the spanner with the moment arm like a uh, 5 uh, meter so 5 5 is a 25 plus 25 so the torque produced will be so the torque produced will be 25 plus 25 so you can calculate it okay so this is all about the couple the examples of the couple the definition of the couple the daily life example of the couple so i hope you people enjoy the video thanks for watching my video i will bring inshallah the new and informative videos in the next uh videos just stay tuned and subscribe like and share to my channel thank you so much